Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to share five exclusive applications for your Samsung smartphone, whether that is a Samsung Galaxy S20, S10, Note 10, S9, or whatever. These are free and exclusive applications with no ads for your Samsung smartphone. So let's dive in and get started and discover the very first one. Now I do want to let you know that to access these apps, you do not want to go to the Play Store. What you want to do is you want to go into your Finder and then you want to search for Galaxy Store, okay? You're not going to find these applications in the Play Store because they're exclusive to your Samsung device. So when you're in the Play Store, the very first one that I want to talk about, you want to go to search and you want to type in voice recorder. When you tap on it, you're going to have a bunch of options. You want to install the one that is made by Samsung Electronics, which is the first one uh, on the list. So you go over here and you simply download that. And once you download this, it's going to be dumped into your apps folder and it's going to be right here. Now, this is a fantastic little recorder. Let me show you the features that we have going on over here. So first and foremost, you have the standard recorder. You tap on uh, the record button, starts to record, and you can see your voice as it's recording. All right, I'm going to play stop on this one. Once you stop it, you can save it, and you can pick a category if you so desire. You can also add categories, so you can really classify and organize the voice recorder here. Now, the other thing that I'm really loving here is if you want to do an interview, as you know, the phone has two microphones, one on the top and one at the bottom. So when you go to the interview mode, you can have one person sitting on this side and one person sitting on this side, and then you can record. And take a look at what happens on the screen. So when I tap on record, check, 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 you can see that the bottom microphone is picking my voice over here, and the top microphone is not picking any voices. So if you had somebody on this side that is talking to this microphone, it's gonna pick up their voice from the other side which is fantastic, all right? So that's why I'm gonna stop it, I'm gonna cancel. Let me just save this. And of course, you can also go over here, you can share them, edit them, sort them, whatever. And of course, finally, we have the speech to text feature. So as you talk, it converts what you're saying to words. So let me just give you a quick example. Let me just click agree. Hey, how are you? So you can see what just happened. So uh, it's actually taking everything that I'm saying and putting it right over here, which is absolutely fantastic. And see how accurate that is. So anyway, pause that. So you can uh, convert from speech to text, no problem. And then save it to that category. So that was the first step. Let's move on to the next fantastic application. So the next application I'll talk about is actually a music playing application. Now again, you wanna go to the Galaxy Store, you wanna tap on search, and what you wanna do is you wanna tap in Samsung, music all right you tap on it and then you can download the samsung music player that i'm really loving so once you install that you open it up and it's going to show up just like that i like the way it looks you can go through artists you can go through folders if you have folders and you can go through albums tracks playlists if you create playlists they're going to show up right here your favorites once you favorite any any music and you can go to spotify right from here now i do want to show you one thing guys if i go to my albums let me just go down here let's just pick this one so if i play a music let me just play one music here let me just kill the volume so we don't get any copyright strikes so i'm going to kill the volume i'm going to play the music if you tap on this one it uh, brings it up shows a picture the name of the title and the controls at the bottom well, that's already fantastic. Now the other thing you can do, you can tap on this one right here, which takes you straight into sound quality and effects from where you can enable Dolby Atmos and all these uh, equalizers and all that stuff. Easy access right over here. You can change it on the go. And of course you can go to your settings. One thing I like is you can do the control music from lock screen. So when you do go to your lock screen, you can actually control the music right from here. All righty. So that's fantastic. That's the music application. And also, when you pull this down, you have controls right over here to play and pause or go to the next track right from here. And if you go to certain albums, this is also something I like. I like visual things. So if I go to this album, you'll notice that when I play this, let me just play this. When I go back, the color shifts based on what is the background picture. And you also get slight animated effects in the background, as you can see. All right. So the color in the background and the animations are dependent on the color right here. So that's the next application. Samsung Music. Absolutely fantastic. Free. No ads. 
let's move on to the next application. Now the next feature is designed for people that want to use their phone when they're driving but they don't want to um, be too distracted. So that's known as the car mode application. So if I go over here, again if I go to the, remember, go to the Galaxy Store, search for the car mode. Alright, it's going to be right over here. So when you search the car mode, you tap on it, you install it, and when you open it, you're going to screen, you tap on continue. And then you have to accept some, some terms over here. Just agree to everything except for marketing right over here. And you're going to say next and click agree. Now you're in the car mode application. Now what I like over here right off the bat is you have find my car feature. So you can tap on new parking. It's going to save your parking location. So when you leave your car and come back, it's going to show you on the map where you were parked. Now on top of that, this is the real thing. You tap on driving mode and it takes you into the actual driving mode which gives you the essentials in large easily pressable buttons. So if you're in the car you can put this in your holder and you can just tap buttons as you need them. You can access your maps right from here. Let me just go back over here. Uh, what else you can do is you can swipe over and you actually have your music player and your weather widget. Now the good news is all these things can be edited. So let me just exit the car mode. You want to exit it, all right? Let me tap on that button, click on close. Then you go back into the car mode, all right? And you go to, uh, instead of going to driving mode, what you do is you tap on the settings right here. And from here you can change the widget screen. So I can change, if I want the weather up or down, I can pick all the other available widgets. Contacts, for example, for easily pressing a button to call somebody. And if I can go to my rearrange applications, I can rearrange my applications. Remember, you're not going to get access to all the applications, only ones you need while you drive. You don't need YouTube while you're driving, all right? And then you can go to navigation bar and actually uh, choose where the navigation bar is going to be in landscape orientation or whatever, okay? So you can customize the whole thing as much as you want. You also have things like weather information, driving features. You can set all these up. But again, this is the car mode that's going to only be useful when you're driving your car so you don't get distracted by other features of your phone. Just the basics, large, easy to press buttons. All right, let's move on to the next application. Now, the next application, again, you download this from the Galaxy Store. It's called the Sound Assistant. All right, let me just show it to you just in case some people just can't find it. So you tap over here, you uh, search for Sound assistant all right and it's right here you tap on it you click open and basically what sound assistant is it gives you a brand new volume panel and also allows you to uh, change the function of the volume keys but anyway let me just enable the volume panel theme on so that's the, this thing right here so when I actually press the volume keys a small button pops right here I can tap it it expands and from here what I can do is I can control the volume from here all right uh, I can go into the settings, which takes me right over here. And I can also change the theme. So I can go for the classic. So let me just tap this one. Now it's on the top. If I maximize it, you get even more options. All right, you get all these extra options at the bottom, including, uh, let me see, the volume keys for media and the live caption option, which are also in here. You can also change the color. So you can pick a brand new color scheme. So take a look at that. Now it's gonna look different which is great, okay? So you can customize the actual volume controls using the Sound Assistant application. By the way, if you enable this one, now if I don't enable this one, and if I press this, it changes the volume of my ringtones and all that stuff. But if I enable this, without having to be in a media application, I can tap this, and it actually uh, it increases or lowers the media volume for apps like YouTube and stuff like that. So basically it makes this whole thing very customizable, all right? You can take a look at it, it's free, no ads, fantastic little thing. Let's move on to the final application. Now the final application is one of my favorite applications, so I'm gonna show you where to get it first. Again, it's in Galaxy Store. Now it's gonna be known as the Good Luck application, all right? You may know about this application. Uh, you install this, and once you open it, you get a full family of applications right here. I'm not going to talk about any of these. What I want to talk about is the task changer uh, option. So the first time you tap on the, the, the store icon, you install it, then you go back into your Good Lock application, which is going to be sitting in your apps drawer. And once you're there, you tap on task changer. And this is what I like. I enable this 
and now I have all these various layouts. Without this, when I tap this, that's what I get. That's my regular uh, task changer. But when I enable this, I can do this, as you can see. Or I can go over here and pick the stack view if I want. I can pick the uh, list view if I want, the bigger list. All right. Or I can go over here and I can go for the grid list. That's fantastic. I can go over here, I can go for the sim list, which is one of my favorites, all right? So that's the final app I wanna talk about. If you do swipe down, you have other options as well, all right? So just download these applications and take a look at them and see what they can do for you. Like I said, the good news is all these apps are free and exclusive for Samsung only. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.